Lee Anderson, the former deputy chair of the Conservative Party, said that you were under the control of Islamists. Your opponent, um, Susan Hall, dismissed your kind of complaints of Islamophobia, saying that they were quote-unquote hurty words. How do you fare with this kind of criticism, especially when it targets your identity? Well, look, f- f- th- th- my starting point is I think all of us have multiple identities. There's no one thing that defines me. So I'm a proud Londoner, born and raised in this city. I'm, I'm British. I'm of Pakistani origin, of Asian heritage, of Islamic faith. I'm a father, I'm a husband. So uh, some people can't seem to get into their heads. You can be a Westerner and a Muslim. You can be somebody who's integrated and a Muslim. And what you see are examples of, you know, not just um, uh, Islamophobic tropes, uh, lazy untruths, sweeping generalizations, but clear examples of Islamophobia anti-Muslim hatred and racism and it's really important it's called out for what it is there should be no hierarchy when it comes to racism what upsets me more than those words is one the British Prime Minister and his cabinet refused to call them out for Islam as Islamophobic or racist or anti-Muslim two the impact that has forget me you know I don't want any special treatment don't feel sorry for me what impact does it have on a young person thinking about a career in politics, thinking about joining a mainstream political party, or thinking about this country giving them a sense of belonging and pride when senior people can say things uh, like uh, this? You know, when Donald Trump was the president, the amount of uh, hatred I received went up by 2,000%. So there is a link between language used by politicians, people in positions of power and influence, and the impact it has, not just on me, but on Muslims or people who look like Muslims across the country. Women having their uh, hijab torn off. Mm -hmm. Young boys, because they look like Muslims, being verbally and racially abused. Mosques having criminal damage done to them. And I think, look, one of the great things about London is, you know, you're free to be who you want to be. You're free to worship how you want to worship. And that sort of language doesn't make Muslims feel welcome. That should worry all of us because I think, you know, if we're going to succeed in, you know, making sure, uh, you know, that our diversity is a strength, our diversity is a sign of weakness, it makes us richer, not poorer, it makes us stronger, you know, not weaker, then we want politicians who represent us to understand that. Mm.